Just who it is, Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? But breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village. Not much of the dark arts I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Revelio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Coward. Incendio. <laughs> Made a great mistake. who released Treadwell, aren't you? I know what you did to Ayo, and I'll not forget it. You're the one who stole our goblin helmet. 
Well, there, Goblin. Tiger! But then it was ours. Yeah. I'm not done with you! Ah! It's it's Intriguing. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Alohomora. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the Three Broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this.
I should investigate. Revelio. Normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> <laughs> Been here. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks! No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place! It's absolutely vile in here! It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please! You can't mean to leave me here! Please! Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Ah. Please, you can't use me as target practice anymore. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage.
that you were able to stop by? Hello. It's good to see you, my friend. Too busy if it wasn't for you, if you ask I might still be caged up by those dreadful Ashwinders. I will never forget your bravery. Nothing warms a body. Like <laughs> I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellio. Confringo. Rebellio. Confringo. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Rebellion. Uh. Rebellion. 
can find them. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellio. Rebellion. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. So of whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio, Accio. Why am I not surprised? Revelio, first the whoopers and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Accio. Lumos. Lumos. on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Revelio. Revelio. Ah. 
killed. If we pull the ring the runes, I suspect we'll find the moths. Another obstacle. No. Rebellion. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Even more beautiful closer. Rebellion. It's got to be here. I just know it. Confringo. Given what creepers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> this is very funny. I was just thinking how the creepers creatures haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moon Rebellion. Is, which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall.
That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <coughs> the moonstone goes.